A new vibrating pill appears to have a whole lot of sp spontaneous potential. Medical reporter Liz Bonus shares why it may help with gut health. Hey there, everybody. This new vibrating pill was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration last August, but the therapy just became available for healthcare providers to prescribe it. It works to ease the symptoms of chronic constipation, and it's the first of its kind to do this, giving patients a non-drug option for treatment. It's about a one-inch capsule that you swallow, which goes into the colon. And it's going to go into the colon, and in the colon, it's going to vibrate for about 16 seconds in three minute cycles. And it's gonna do that twice a day. And after the second time it does it, it becomes inactive, it's passed out through the bowel. And uh, there's some positive secondary effects that patients saw of that. Michelle Dodds is a family nurse practitioner and an assistant professor of nursing at Ohio's Cedarville University. She says one of those positive secondary effects may include that the vibrating pill may help retrain the brain to stimulate the colon because for a lot of people with chronic idiopathic constipation, they don't have proper peristalsis. The brain's not sending that message properly. So I think those are definite like positives about this. A study of more than 300 people at about 90 centers nationwide in the journal Gastroenterology found when used for eight weeks, those who took the vibrating capsule had about twice the number of complete spontaneous bowel movements compared to those who took a placebo. That means, in addition to adding more foods with fiber and activity to your day, Michelle Dodd says this could also improve good gut bacteria. The fact that this is just a medical device and not a medication um, can really spare the microbiome of the gut and really help our immune system. Chronic constipation does tend to impact more women than men, more people of color compared to those who are white, and more of those who are of lower income status, which may also speak to having access to healthy foods such as fruits and vegetables that are higher in fiber. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.